everyone and welcome to this layout as you can see from the thumbnail there is a lot of frames being used so I pretty much used all of the pink fresh frames all together they went together really well obviously because they're the same collection and I used one of the Instagram frame the insta stack instax yeah instax frames in the top right there with that camera icon on it and so what I've done is I've just place them on the page sort of in a place where I'd like them and then I've just pulled out a whole pile of photos now if I'd plan in ahead I probably would have done black and white photos and whatnot but that's what I would have thought when I started but the way I, I like the way it turns out with all these colored photos so what I did was I reached into my album that I'd got all my printed photos in it and pulled out a pile I think 11 I think I have frames 11 photos from October just a random moment some are just you know boring everyday moments and others are, are more fun and I figured this layout would just be like a snapshot of October last year so you can see here I've just glued all the frames to the photos cut them out sort of like back in a cut file I glued them on or used the sticky back but even when I pulled the sticky stuff off I still glued it just to make sure and then I cut the photo just underneath the edge of the frame so that it wasn't sticking out. Now I've gotten my positioning here for my frames and then I figured I'd go with the title. So that would be my next step. So I'm pulling out these pink ones and I'm going to write October with um, a few lowercase and a few uppercase letters. I'm having a bit of a play with them. I figure this is something, a word that would look cool having that, that mixture. So I'm going to have a see where it's going to go. And I was thinking there to fill that space. And then I find the perfect space down here, which unfortunately is a little bit off screen for you. Sorry, guys. And then I reach in for the Dear Lizzie pink. I uh, know they're not pink. They're little blue kind of color stickers or alpha puffy stickers. And I'm going to write moments. So October moments is my title. And down there it's going to stay. However, I spare you a lot of mucking around because I kid you not, I spent an hour and a half going back and forth, moving the frames, moving the title, and literally, I like 100% swear to, you know, swear to anything, cross my heart, hope to die kind of situation. They all end up in exactly the same place. The frames are in exactly the same and the word the title is in the same spot it's ridiculous but before I get to moving all the frames around I try to work out if I'm going to use a pattern paper background I figure this would be a cool way to to do it and it looks really nice it really looks nice on this one and when I put the title there it looks lovely and I figure oh and the, but I'm just not brave enough I just wasn't brave enough to do it and the other thing I was thinking at this point in time that I would type up my journaling about all these photos sort of like a you know one two one this is what we did two this is what we did without putting the numbers everywhere I didn't want to clutter it up like that so I figured I could get away with the pattern paper background because I'd be typing it but then I come to this page and then I realize the best way to do it and I really like the way it turns out so I'm working out that I could do it I'd have to do it horizontal with these stripes like this vertically it looked a bit funny but then I realized that I could just probably frame it, you know, use that patterned paper as a border. And then I was like, oh, that's so boring. You always do that, Lauren. Because this is probably why I spent forever trying to work out where the frames go. Because I was in one of those moods of I always do the same thing. Um, you know, challenge myself, get myself out there. It's design team work. Well, that kind of mentality and I really love the way it ended up but oh my gosh I was cursing it as I spent forever I did manage to watch a whole movie while I did that and then another movie I literally watched two movies part of one that I you know maybe the last half hour I just sat and watched after I finished but it took me that long I just and I was talking to my son and stuff he was in my room um, having a play with the designing software I have on my tablet Anyway, I get to ripping this pattern paper and that's a pop of colour to the bottom and it grounds the title and grounds the layout downwards rather than, because everything, the frames are happening. The other thing, and you probably can't even notice, 
But for me, this is what took me a while too, was the frames I wanted to go in a little arched angle and the three down the, the right hand bottom side there, I couldn't get going in, you know, sort of like it goes in, then it curves up to that corner and then curves back down so that it's a straight curve and but they jut in and out so it took me forever to just be like well that's just the way they look the best why does it have to be why are you wanting that anyway <laughs> sometimes we have these moments and I'm sure hopefully you're all nodded at home going oh my gosh that's something I would do too or I've been there done that anyway we got there in the end I've glued them all down I'm gluing down my title I'm loving it it looks really good. I do see if I need more pattern paper at the top, but I decide I do not. And this is where I get a bit word happy, but it looks really good. So I go through these cardstock stickers, the um, Heidi Swap, are they, I'm pretty sure the Heidi Swap stickers, the puffy stickers, the puffy thickers, and I pull out a word for each of the frames. Now I fiddle around and some of them go on a couple before they decide where they're going but that's okay because it works really nicely just to add a little pop of interest to each of the frames they're all they're really good words on these um, stickers and whatnot and that's um, really good because there's a lot of words in the collection so you can see here they're all going in different positions on the frame some up the top some down the bottom in the middle to the side that kind of thing but you can see it just adds that little bit of interest and this one's going to go vertically and that's nice. So I didn't want to add icons to it and like, you know, sometimes when you add pictures and icons and kind of things, they can draw your eye out and make that the focal point. But I wanted the whole thing to be focal and then you have to look at each little section bit by bit. So each little frame bit by bit. So that's the way it works out in the end I did try to add some flowers around the title and that was just too much sometimes like even though it's such a busy layout it's kind of simple in the fact that I don't have a lot um, you know I don't have embellishment layers going on really I have some words and a, and a puffy sticker on at the end and that's probably about as good as embellishment clusters go I think two hearts together is another embellishment cluster on this title and I'm doing inverted commas so these are the Heidi Swap stickers and these are clear ones so it went down there really nicely I like the the yellow writing on that little light pink frame just cutting down the excess so it's just nice nice little thing to add and this is probably now nah, I'm not even gonna say probably I'm like a 99.9% .9 sure that I this is the most most photos I've ever used on a layout and I've made a pretty frame heavy layout before too at least one or two so <laughs> yeah that's uh, another good thing but I really like this it'd be so cool to do something along these lines not a frame one every time but I like in my albums they're divided monthly so I have at the front just a scrap piece of paper where I've scribbled down dates for photos when I've gone to print them. That way if I want to add a date or I want to, if something comes out of order, I can quickly see where it goes in that album. And I figured, you know, if I ever felt so inclined, I could type that up and it would have like a title page for every month. But I think this would be really cool for every month. A, a layout where it's got a, a range of photos on it and a little summary of like how awesome it was we did this and we did that and and a whole pile of other things and then you go you flip the page and then you're into the layouts and the project life for the month hmm isn't that food for thought so I've gone and put a word on every frame now and I've just pulled out these lovely puffy stickers and I'm seeing what I could get on there so I've put a, a coffee cup up the top even though we're not drinking coffee but I figure because I don't drink coffee I better put it somewhere and then I find a Coke bottle or a soda bottle and I change it anyway. But I'm sure I could use it somehow. <clears throat> and on another layout. Um, but I just put a couple of puffy little stickers around. I don't make sure that I got one on every single frame. I just have them on a, on a, a couple of them. Three or four. And here's where I find a few of the hearts out of the 
the exclusive ephemera and this lovely sticker now that just fills that little space there between the frames perfectly it doesn't take away it doesn't draw your eye to it and um, you know make it such a, a jaunty focal point so finding some more hearts and I'm thinking that it needs something around the title because I'm used to having embellishment clusters around titles but really and I've just there's so much in here and this is only the second layout I've done so there's still a lot going on in the kit so I found this chipboard flower and I really wanted to use that and it just doesn't make it which is good because it doesn't need it so layering up two hearts here one's puffy one's a um, cardstock ephemera piece and add one here and then I'm going to add some going in a diagonal up the up the layout from the bottom right to the top left and I add this yellow one above the word October it just adds it no I don't I thought I was I just literally edited this and you'd think I'd remember but it's funny how that works so looking for some more hearts I've got these little ones here and surprisingly there's no hearts on the puffy sheets well I'm pretty sure there's not because I thought I'm pretty sure I look but there's not there's only those puffy ones on the um, thickest sheet which is fine because there's all cool icons on that little puffy that small puffy set it's really cool different stuff that we don't normally get so there goes all the hearts now I've got that big blank space and you can see that is a lot of space to do some journaling I'm going to pull out my pencil and my ruler when I find it my t-square ruler and I'm just going to add a whole pile of lines lightly with my pencil because I want to erase them now my aim for the journaling is to have it filling up that whole space so I draw lines all the way I don't measure in between but I just eyeball it just roughly the same width apart from each other from the next line but when I go to write I write it out first on um, a spare piece of paper because there's going to be a there's a lot of room for journaling but I don't want to just make it up and be all fumbled and and you know get to the halfway through and go oh well I need to make up four more sentences and just gibber on about stuff I do enough rambling during the day without rambling while I write so I wrote it out on a scrap piece of paper and then I then even colour it as I'm writing. So it's sort of like this is my first draft. And then as I write it onto my page, it's my edit. Um, I edit it down because I do write a lot. But it's nice to have that thought process. And some people might pencil it in and write it that way to make sure it fits. But I wanted it to be a bit more um, random and look like it was, you know, from... I might want to say from the heart because it is from the heart but just out of my head I guess rather than I wrote it then I wrote it again and practice so as I was writing to match those thicker title that we've got going on I, every now and then I would just write a capital letter randomly or I'd write a whole word in capital letters or majority of the word in capital letters just for a bit of fun it goes with the um the theme the collection and it was just nice to do it did jar with me a little I did have to just go just ignore your um, instinct of capital letters at the beginning of a sentence or a, or a noun and lowercase for everything else you know the stuff that you've taught when you are learning at school but in I'm glad I just sort of ignored that and continued because it just looks a little bit a little bit cool without standing out and without being like every fifth word is a capital or whatever like that so I did just wonder if I needed just a little doodly border in the top corner and I tried it but I it needed more needed more black everywhere well not everywhere but on that side of the layout so I've gone and done those three sides but not fully on those two downsides and I'm going to add some splatters. Oh, I do erase the pencil line. I did wait a little bit. It is a Sharpie, so it would have been dry pretty much straight away. But I wanted to make sure I didn't smudge it because it actually worked. And journaling is like that. Working is not one of my fortes. So I'm pulling out the Distress Oxide that we got last month or the month before. Mm, yeah, last month. Yes last month I'm pretty sure 
And we, I'm just going to add this ink splatters. And because I print my photos with selfie printer, I just use a wipe to wipe off any color that I get onto the photos. It's very, or I use a paper towel, but then later I use a wipe because I go back and add more sprinkles, ink splatters, I probably should call them. And I just wanted to add that because it was looking too um, stark and like regimented, I guess, on that half of the page. It needed that bit of texture and that bit of um, messiness to make it look realistic and go together. So just adding it there. I do add a little bit in the bottom left corner of the journaling, but not too much. I didn't want it to uh, cover the journaling and I also didn't want it to um, become the whole page was full of ink splatters because sometimes I can get carried away with that as well. But this is going to be the end. I do a couple more and wipe them off again. But I just wanted to share this layout with you today just because I thought it was really fun the way it turned out and I like the idea. I really love the concept of a month's moments in a, in a glance. So let me know down below if you've done something like this or are interested to do something like this. I'd love to know. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.